Happy lunch hour, gang. Okay, uh, here we go again. As for us, those of us who actually have the foresight to expect problems and do something about it, maybe this doesn't affect us. But for those that haven't or haven't jumped on board yet, maybe you guys need to start considering it. Has anybody paid attention to the news lately? Uh, give you this one. Last week you had a countrywide power outage in Ecuador, okay? The entire country. Today you had a power outage in Montenegro, Bosnia, Albania, and Croatia, and all up and down the Adriatic coast. Both places are warm, okay? In Europe, Okay, they're saying, well, gee, it was 104 degrees and it put too much stress on the electrical system. In Ecuador, okay, obviously we're talking South America here, it's warm and they had transmission problems. What do you think of our grid here in the United States? Texas, I'm asking you, okay, you guys dealt with it a couple of years ago. The entire Southeast, we've been dealing with heat. The entire Northeast, you guys have been dealing with some record heat. What happens when you can't get power? I got to remember, you know, the countries in Europe, they want to get rid of coal and go all to solar. Joe Biden wants to get rid of coal and go all to solar. Ecuador is a little different. That was a transmission issue. Okay. But what you've got going on is these countries not anticipating summer, right? Okay, it gets hot in the summer. In the United States, it gets hot in the summer in Southern Europe, okay? You think they would have planned accordingly, but oh no, it's not green enough. So again, it comes down to the point that you've got to do something to prep for yourself. Now, this could be as simple as having some fans and some sort of generator, whether it's gas powered, whether it's propane, whether it's solar, whatever, something to keep you cool. You know, again, we go back to Texas a couple of years ago and, you know, something to keep them warm. I'm hoping a lot of people woke up with all of that and said, hmm, you know what, honey? We need to do something just in case the grid fails again. We all know the popsicle sticks and bubble gum that our grids held together in the United States with. And with Joe trying to get rid of coal, with them shutting down nuclear power plants left and right and trying to go all toward the green energy debacle, as I told you once before, just if they, we ever got to EVs, just to power the cars, the personally owned vehicles, not trucks, not commercial, not nothing, you would have to cover the entire states of Nevada and Utah with solar panels, and it would have to be sunny 365 days a year. Okay, so just give you that as an idea. Now think about running your lights, running your electricity, running your washing machine, running your dishwasher, your well pump, whatever, okay? Capacity-wise, we do not have the technology to do it. So people make other choices. And again, going and getting a gas generator, a decent-sized gas generator, okay, that'll cost you a few hundred bucks. That's affordable. Getting yourself a decent sized solar generator, that's going to cost you a few thousand bucks. But you've got to figure out on your side what you are going to do to keep yourself cool because heat kills. Heat exhaustion, heat stroke, you can die from it. And in the heat, I mean, I know down here lately it's been in the 90s with high humidity. It's, I don't want to say brutal, it's but it's unbearable to be outside for any time. You guys know a few years back, oh God, this has got to be what, 2018, I think, the summer of 2018, we were out in Vegas when it was 117 degrees. Temperature, 
not heat index, okay? That was ridiculous. But that's possible. And that's what we prep for, for the possibilities of something going wrong. It gets hot. We can't control that, okay? No, greenhouse gases don't affect it, okay? 0.01% of the temperature outside is by man's con uh, contribution. That's scientific, scientifically proven, okay? But it gets hot. So what do you do about it? Come up with some alternate plan. Do you have some way to jump in a lake, jump in a pond, get wet, water in a bathtub, somehow to cool yourself off, cold compress, whatever? Heat is something to concern yourself with. Now, on the other side, I will say this. Be careful of what you buy to power a fan or something. There's a story out this morning, I guess, a brand of battery, uh, a portable charging battery. Now, whether or not it was solar, whether you plug it in, I, that I didn't see, okay, that Costco sells, specifically sold at Costco. They recalled 567,000 of them because two people's houses burned on burned up caught on fire okay lithium ion batteries again you know lithium iron phosphate is something significantly better you want to look at that the lithium ion you guys remember the stories about e-bikes and stuff like that spontaneously starting on fire when you're looking for your power sources something to keep cool with you know obviously in the winter time maybe you're building a fire something like that different we're talking about summer heat make sure whatever you get is quality all right if you can find a ul listing that's good finding something that is i always love when that happens finding something that isn't made in china that's difficult Okay, and that we can go all the way back and everybody in between, all the way back to Bill Clinton when they decided, hey, we're going to make the United States a service economy rather than a manufacturing economy. Yeah, well, look what that got us. That got us all the Chinese crap that we got to buy. And as long as they make it look pretty and affordable, we buy it. Just be careful with what you get, but come up with some sort of cooling plan. We're only a couple of days into summer, guys. July and August hasn't even hit. We haven't got to the hot part of summer. And if you're already seeing Europe, parts of Europe, Southern Europe, having brownouts and blackouts because of power consumption, what happens here in the summer when we do start seeing 100 degree days in the plains in the midwest in the northeast in the southeast yeah you guys in the southwest you guys are used to 100 degree days so hopefully you've already got something taken care of there but come up with a plan do something if it means biting the bullet and getting yourself some generator it might be worth it We've seen way too many stories over the last few years about people dying from heat and dying from cold. Take care of yourself, because ain't nobody else going to do it for you. Pinball out.